I've been standing up to the powerful and protecting the vulnerable my entire life. It's what my whole life story is about. And Republicans and Democrats can agree on a couple things related to health care. First is we will always protect pre-existing conditions. There's nobody who disagrees with that. The second is that Obamacare is failing. It's not working. And so what I'm doing is fighting for more options for people. We took away the penalties because the way Obamacare worked, that if you couldn't afford their unaffordable health insurance, the government was fining you. And so I'm fighting for more options for small businesses to band together, for people to have choices. But this public option, which is Bernie Sanders uh, light, really it's the next path to the full government takeover of health care. This is going to have, you can't have a public option compete with private health insurance. Everybody who gets health insurance from their employer is eventually going to lose it. The full government will take over. And Medicare, as we know it, will be collapsed. Any seniors tuning in under this expensive plan that is the first step to the government takeover of health care. What I want to know, Mark, is how much is the public option going to cost? Senator McSally, I do have a question for you on health care. You have been supportive of Republican plans that nonpartisan analysts say would have left 23 Americans, including many in Arizona, without health coverage. The Senate plan that you are co-sponsoring would guarantee coverage of pre-existing conditions, but those nonpartisan analysts say it would allow women to be charged more than men. Why then should Arizonans want either of those yeah. plans? Should the uh, ACA or if the ACA already covers them? Well, I agree. Women shouldn't be charged more than men. Kids should be able to stay on their parents' insurance till they're 26, and we should never be allowing insurance companies to deny people uh, insurance for pre-existing conditions or raise their, their cost. But what's happened with Obamacare is the costs keep going up. You know, I met a family uh, when I was walking, uh, knocking doors in the West Valley, Brigham and his wife, Tammy, and four kids. And before Obamacare, he's a plumber, owns his own business. Before Obamacare, he paid $300 a month for his insurance. It's gone up four times since then. It's more than his mortgage now. And we had over, before we got rid of the penalty, we had over 150,000 Arizonans under Obamacare who paid a fine because they couldn't afford the health insurance. And uh, 80, over 80% 80 of them were making less than $50,000 a year. So I'm passionate to provide more choices, but this government takeover of healthcare is dangerous. And make no mistake, the public option means the government is competing with private health insurance. They're never going to be able to compete. Private health insurance goes away, and then you have the full government takeover. And I'll tell you, Medicare right now, they say, is going to be insolvent in 2025. Their scheme that allows people to just be put on, more people to be put on Medicare will have it collapse. Rural hospitals will close. Your taxes will go up over $2,300 just in the public option. Private pa practices will close. And 178 million Americans who get on the job health insurance will lose it. This is what's dangerous about their plan. I'm fighting for more options for people. Buy insurance across state lines. Allow small businesses to band together so they have more choice. Let's provide that taxpayer resources to backstop those with the highest expenses. And let's find more options that uh, protect people with pre-existing conditions, not the government health care like Counterfeit Kelly is offering. All right. Uh, do you want to Can follow I, up? Please. Do you, I, you want to yeah, rebut? Folks, this isn't rocket science. Just follow the money. Senator McSally took a ton of money from health insurance companies and voted to eliminate protections for pre-existing conditions. She took a ton of money from pharmaceutical companies and voted to increase the cost of prescription drugs for seniors. She took millions of dollars from corporate PACs and gave companies billions of dollars of tax giveaways. Bottom line, Senator McSally isn't working for us. She's working for somebody else. She's working for that company that funds that corporate PAC that funds her campaign. That's not putting Arizona first. I've got to be able to respond to that. I please, mean, this is another please. example of saying one thing and just the counterfeit nature of this whole campaign and what he's saying to Arizonans. He, it, for between the beginning of 2018 and the end of 2019, or, or 18 months, he got $1.8 million in speaking fees, speaking to financial companies and insurance companies. I'm talking about into his bank account, okay? And he uses all the end runs in order to be able to get corporate money from employers and executives. Don't be fooled. He's saying one thing to all of you that may sound good, but in reality, he's getting rich and has gotten rich off corporations and they're funding his campaign. We cannot put up with more counterfeit discussions on this. I mean, this is saying one thing and then the attacks towards me, I'm always gonna protect people with pre-existing conditions and they're attacking my integrity. Integrity first is the top core value in the Air Force and in my life. 
and I've been standing up to the powerful and protecting the vulnerable my whole life, and I'm going to keep doing it as your fighter in the Senate. On this issue of pre-existing conditions, people in Arizona are very concerned about this. Healthcare consistently is a top issue in this race. Why should Arizonans trust you on this issue? Because I'm telling you, I'm committed to protecting people with pre-existing conditions, and I have repeatedly voted to include last week to protect people with pre-existing conditions. But there's people in Arizona with pre-existing conditions right now who are being failed by Obamacare. What about them? So I'm rolling up my sleeve. Some politicians sit back and they don't want to solve hard problems. I'm rolling up my sleeve to fight for them. The entrepreneur who's going uncovered right now, who I met in Tucson, the franchise owner, Hispanic franchise owner, had to give up his businesses because and work for a big business because he got di uh, diagnosed with diabetes. So we've got to fix this. And we've got to protect people with pre-existing conditions. These are scare tactics. And I'm also going to continue to fight to stop the government takeover of health care. These guys agree Obamacare is failing. I wish the media would, would at least acknowledge that. But what they want is going to be dangerous to Medicare and those who get on-the-job health insurance. Uh, Mr. Kelly, do you agree that uh, Senator McSally always protects those uh, with pre-existing conditions? Well, of course not. Uh, and Arizonans already know they can't trust Senator McSally when it comes to health care. She's voted on four separate occasions to undermine or eliminate those protections. I was with this mom, Stacy, recently. And her daughter's named Zoe, and she had a uh, terrible heart condition that she was born with and had to have multiple surgeries. And she reached a lifetime cap when she was not even into her teens on what her health care has cost. And they were always concerned that because of her pre-existing condition as an adult, she wouldn't be able to get health care coverage. But then the Affordable Care Act came around, and it changed their lives. Senator McSally is trying to take away those protections from 2.8 million Arizonans. She's done it on four separate occasions. She paved the way for a lawsuit that's at the Supreme Court. It's, the case is going to be heard on November 10th. That's not independent leadership. We need independent leadership that's going to put Arizona first, that's not going to put a big corporate PAC or a health care company or a big pharmaceutical company first. All right. Um, Can I, look, these scare tactics, these votes he's talking about, Arizonans, it's because I said I was against Obamacare, because I hear too many stories of where Obamacare is failing people and they have pre-existing conditions and they can't get access to affordable health insurance. So I'm fighting to start the process to find more options for you. And a lot of politicians just sit back and vote no because they're afraid of just these scare tactics from counterfeit Kelly. Instead of him being honest about what their plan will do, the, the public option will end Medicare as we know it, will take away your private health insurance for 178 million people and raise your taxes. It's dangerous. I'm going to fight against it. But know that these votes and this scare tactic, it's a lie. It's because but I'm passionate about fixing the health care system that's broken right Mr. now. Mr. Kelly, quick rebuttal, please. Yeah, those, those protections, by the way, that 2.8 million Arizonans have, well, all 7.5 million of us were saved by John McCain in a vote in the United States Senate. He saved the Affordable Care Act, so he saved those protections that Senator McSally spent years trying to undo.